The Drakensberg area in KwaZulu Natal province of South Africa has been studied extensively for historic and geographical purposes. It is among the most beautiful sceneries in the Rainbow Nation. The great escarpment that encircles Southern Africa, the paintings by Bushmen that date thousands of years back, a game park and pleasant weather with moderate temperature are some of the key attractions here. I know some people, they wonder about the name. It's not Zulu, it's, it's a mixture of Africans and Dutch as well, but it's about the mountain range. In Zulu, we call it Ukasamba, that's the mountain range. It is very cold in Drakensberg between June and August and snowy around July. White settlers did large-scale farming here for decades. They are still engaged in livestock and crop farming. Sprawling fields of crops and fruits are all over the Drakensberg. Drakensberg is not very far from most of our battlefield sites where the Europeans, many battles happened. One of them, the most to, to mention, was the one between the British and the Zulus in 1879 in East Andwana. The Drakensberg is comprised of four valleys, Middledel, Amphitheatre, the demand Champagne Valley. Lately, Champagne is more attractive because of its hot air ballooning, an experience that no tourist wants to miss. The hot air balloon is usually done in the morning here in Drakensberg, and I can tell you it is a worthwhile experience to wake up early for. It is only early morning that one can get an aerial but closer view of the valley. The cool winds push the balloon around, so the pilot cannot decide the direction to take. Usually in 20 or 30 minutes the viewing is done. It could end with a smooth landing, but at times the experience can be bumpy. <laughs> You know, it's an experience which people are, they don't know any, anything about, you know. And for you now to go and describe it to somebody, it's very difficult. How do you describe what you've just had? <laughs> so, you know, it's uh, that's part of the attraction for ballooning, is the mystery of it. In KwaZulu Natal province, the experience is different and new at every destination. In the remotest villages and in the capital, St. Peter Marisburg or Durban City. In these cities, cultures meet and tourism is flourishing. Durban is the second most populated metropolitan area after Johannesburg in the Gauteng province. With a population of 3.5 million people and uh, a budget of 41.6 billion rands, and uh, our workforce is about 24,000, we contribute about 35% to the uh, national GDP because of our port of Durban. Uh, which is a gateway to the province and a gateway to South Africa and also in the African continent. So we are actually doing very well despite the economic um, problems that, that we are facing globally, but the city's economy is growing. In 2015, Durban was named among the seven new wonder cities of the world. Its economic muscle is mostly built around the Durban port and tourism, also known as the Tawin. Durban is mostly inhabited by middle-class South Africans and has more dollar millionaires than any other city in the country. Durban hosted the 2016 Indaba, Africa's biggest travel and tourism exhibition. Frank Walisembi, NTV.